All right, let's delve just a little bit deeper into this whole stream temperature. So we still don't have the work from Arissa, Drake, or Izzy, but you've got my Ed Puzzle right here. You can learn temperature the way they were supposed to, directly from your source, me. I also shared with you um, cohort A1, uh, Brienne and Gracie, Gracie S, created this website with tons of information on, on temperature, uh, with graphs, with all the data. You can see how the temperature has varied uh, over the years and how it changed just the, the few weeks we went down. So you've got all this information here. you got more on this link right here. She's got all her notes, and then Gracie has a pictures and her presentation right here. I mean, see how nice a website is really nice. Uh, gives you a way to put more than, than what you can do on a blog post. And then you've got those links there. But one of the things that we want to look at specifically is we had to look for a few extra websites on exactly what temperature is perfect for our fish. And look at this cool website, breaks it down by fish species. And we go to coho salmon, which we have in our creek. And it shows a lower, an optimal, which is perfect, and an upper, which is getting too hot. So anywhere from 44 degrees to 60 degrees is good for coho salmon. 54 degrees is like perfect uh, temperature for the water. And I think they've got different kinds of trout here. Uh, well, they got rainbow trout, which we have. Pretty similar. They can looks like they can withstand a little hotter. 75 degrees is their upper limit, but about 44 is their lower. Um, 55 is optimal. Then we found this website with um, breaks down temperature needs by the stage in the fish's life cycle. And for this one, I'm going to do... If you type C to F in Google, it, it gives you a, a conversion for temperature because, all right, look here. Eggs and Alvin need 4 to 7.2 degrees Celsius. 4 degrees Celsius is 39.2. 7.2 degrees Celsius is about 44.96. And if we look at the stream temperature in our creek... Um, it dipped into the 30s in 2003 and 2011, and then it's been in the 50s for the past bunch of years. And, and I got to tell you why this is. It, it's not because our stream is warming necessarily, but from 2011 to 2002, we used to take the temperature in the fall. So it was colder because it was getting closer to winter. And, and really by the fall, I mean late fall, we did it really close to winter. And then starting 2012, we did it in the spring where it was just typically warmer. Of course, this year, we did it in the fall and we went close to winter, even the cold times. And it's still in the 50s, not in the 40s like it used to be. That's weird. Makes me wonder what's going on here but we need a lot more data to figure anything out. Uh, but luckily in the winter, it does get within 39 to 44 degrees in Chimicum Creek. So we're, we're good temperature for the eggs and the little baby Alvin when they hatch from the egg. Spawners need it cold. So if they spawn end of fall during winter, they've got the cold they need. And so do the, the fish. And you can see there's a range. It can go up to 12 degrees, and 12 degrees Celsius is 53 degrees um, Fahrenheit. And look, we, we, we got them covered in the fall and winter. Um, so it's looking like no matter how you look at it, we our creek has the, the good temperature range for fish. So if you're not sure on these, uh, on the Ed Puzzle, because on the Ed Puzzle I don't show the data, but if you're not sure on Brianne's, um, you can't find it. I can now confirm for you that based on these two sources of, of research, these two websites, our creek temperature is in the optimum 
And even it's, it's in the right range, but it's really close to optimum for trout and salmon. All right, so there you have it. A little extra for your notes so you can write that on the How's Chimicum Creek Doing column for temperature.